Hey everybody, Austin here. It's uh, August in 2011 in sunny southern Arizona, but it's cloudy today and it's a very rare cloudy uh, morning here. And so uh, anyway, greetings to you. I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about our Zona Youth Camp uh, that we experienced in July. Zona Youth Camp, most of you know, is a camp made up of mostly Arizona students that we take out to Riverside, California for a week to go and connect with God and, and do some training. And for the last couple of years, we as Worship Catalyst have had a couple of different responsibilities in that camp. I'll tell you about those in a minute, but first I just want to say thank you for those of you that prayed. I got so many texts and uh, emails and Facebook messages from you that said you were praying for that camp. And it paid off because uh, over 50 students began a relationship with Jesus at that camp. And so thanks so much for your investment in making that camp possible in multiple ways. So one of the responsibilities that we have is called the Worship Catalyst Experience. And uh, what that is, is it's a five hours a day, every day of the week that we get the same group of students. This year there was about 90 students uh, that were involved. And we train them in the areas of drums and guitars and you know bass guitar and vocals and drama. And we spend uh, all that time, five hours a day, all week long, just trying to help them get better at what they do. And so you see a little bit of the video going on here of some of our teachers and some of those were from Houston and some from Arizona and uh, we just had a great time and they had a great time. We don't only work with their ability and their skill set, however, we also try to help them as leaders and help them uh, in their relationship with God. And so what I wanted to do here for a second is to just show you at the end of the week we just opened, them, opened a camera and said, hey, talk a little bit about what you learned. And, I wanted you to hear some of those responses. Well, lately I've been struggling with the fact that, you know, it's all about me and my voice and I'm so self-centered, but lately this experience has helped me see that it's not about me, it's about God, and it's just helped me become a better person and a better performer, so. Okay, worship Catalyst to me means that I really get to learn about how to worship, and it's not about me and not about me on stage, but it's all about giving glory to God because he's, the one who created us, he deserves it, and we don't deserve to have it facing towards us. It's, it all has to go to God or else it's not worship, and we can't bring that experience to other people. So I feel like through this I've learned how to truly worship God, and it's an amazing feeling. For me, really, because I've never worshipped the way I've worshipped here before, and it's really just opened my eyes to all the different things you can do to praise God and to just, in, when we're in those services, just lifting my hands and singing out as loud as I can, just it really helps me connect with God. I've been working with Worship Catalyst for about four years now, and this year I actually had the opportunity to help teach. And I can say that through Worship Catalyst, I have become a much better player, and I've grown closer to God, and I've learned what it means to be a worship leader. Essentially, I used to suck, and now I don't. The other part of camp that we work on is the production side. So what that looks like is that uh, from early on in the year, uh, Cammy and I started working with the pa pastor for the camp, the, the teacher, and also the musicians, and we started to decide how we were going to develop the services. And so that looks like a lot of, you know, drama that we were able to write or find and put together, and Cammy was able to direct. And it looked like uh, a lot of videos that we were able to produce and uh, all the different components and the way that they all weave together. Uh, all the way down to, at the time of, we do the lighting and we do the video on all the screens and uh, the streaming out to the website and all that. Hopefully some of you got a chance to watch some of that. So uh, anyway, such a great experience we had during those nights and that's when most of the students had that relationship with God kick off. And so uh, again, thanks for being a part of that with us. All right, well, here we are. It's time to move on to the fall of uh, 2011 here. and so. Uh, we've got several new churches that we're going to be starting to work with that we'll talk way more about later and some cities that may be opening up for us that we'll talk more about later as well. Uh, I want to invite those of you in the Houston area uh, to a dinner that we're having on September the 17th. It's a Saturday night at 6 o'clock at uh, Copperfield Church. And it's just a time for us to, to report back on how things are going and some of the things that God's doing and also to talk a little bit more about the future and get you to help us as we pray about what are some of the things that God would have us to do uh, over the coming months. And so if you don't mind, uh, join us there. We'd love it. Will you RSVP to me at austin at austinryan.com or austin at worshipcatalyst.com, either one. And you can uh, just RSVP, hey, I'm coming, me and my spouse or by myself or whatever, so that we'll know how many to provide for. So we look forward to seeing you there. 
And as always, guys, thank you so much. You make all of this possible uh, through your gifts and through your prayers. And so thank you for being a part of Worship Catalyst. We love you. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.